Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the final week of December 2023. Actually, the final week of 2023. And so we're going to charge up the cards and get down to business here. Don't forget to check out your rising sign to get additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up and your moon sign for the less prominent side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. So let's get down to business and see what's in store for you. Spiritual themes, money and material circumstances, messages and news from other people, challenges, and love. Okay. So this week, Virgo, your big spiritual theme, your big focus is the Four of Wands upright. And so this is going to be a week of a lot of accomplishments, a lot of achievements, things that you've been working for, finally hitting pay dirt. The Four of Wands is the card of celebration or the card that heralds a lot of causes for celebration that are going to be taking place throughout the course of the week. The Four of Wands can also indicate that this is a week where a lot of no turning back moments, uh, crossing milestones or making milestone moves are also going to be happening across the board. So you need to be ready. You know, this is a foundational card. This is all about setting up a great deal of pleasant new normals and getting them underway this week. When it comes to your material circumstances, material circumstances, work, job, and finances, you've got the judgment card upright. Prepare for some very important talks, big meetings, big sit downs, um, and and whatnot had to occur this week that are going to give you a chance to kind of bust out of a normal or a status quo or a rut that you are in. The Judgment card upright can almost always indicate an opportunity to test out of a space or a lane that you are in, whether this is uh, figuratively speaking by getting a new job or getting a chance to jump into a new place, or this could be literally happening because of an opportunity or a proposal happening on the job or with a financial or, or professional situation that you have. But the Judgment card upright is going to also say, be ready. You are going to need to, well, prove your abilities, prove your skills, walk your talk, and so make sure you're ready for it. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Two of Cups reversed. This week, you might be hearing about uh, something going on outside of you uh, that is putting you in a tough spot. Uh, the Two of Cups reverse can often show up where a conflict of interest, a power struggle, or a, a union that is working against itself is starting to manifest a great deal of problems. Uh, this can sometimes show up where, you know, it may be teammates or family members that we have. It could be a couple that we know, uh, but there does seem to be a lot of conflict showing up here, and it could also be interfering with something that you are involved in or with somebody that you care about. Sometimes the Two of Cups reversed can also show up where there are some issues around 
uh, where people are trying to go in terms of maybe a goal or a destination or a plan versus where other people committed in that situation want to go. And that's also going to need to be sorted or spaced for everyone's own good. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the hangman reversed. And so the hangman reversed as a challenge is all about getting down to business, especially after a period of maybe slowness or maybe a stall. But the challenge that comes with the hangman reversed is that we also need to be ready to start taking sides and taking stands in situations where we have been a little bit too loosey-goosey, a little bit too easy breezy, where we've been riding the fence. Maybe it has to do with certain big decisions that you've got to finally make that you've been waffling on. Maybe it's taking sides in conflicts like we saw with the two of cups reversed but you're going to have to be ready to get back in the back in the saddle and back into action and again yeah it's okay you might need to start taking some sides and things you've been very neutral on uh, or taking a platform of non-involvement on uh, until now when it comes to your uh, relationships with love romance and partnerships you've got the ten of pentacles upright and the ten of pentacles is all about um, an important wrap-up that is going to have an enormous payoff, right? The Ten of Pentacles is all about longevity and security, long-term commitments, happiness, stability. Uh, this can also be a card of great wealth. But in love and romance, this is talking about some kind of major uh, development that's going to be taking place this week that is kind of setting you and a partner up with a new plan or a new sense of home in the world. Now, the Ten of Pentacles could very much indicate uh, some good news coming to you through a partner uh, or maybe your own life uh, around a big financial win or, or change of course that is going to be changing the course of the relationship or our living situation or our family life or for those of you who are single or available to new people the ten of pentacles upright can also indicate uh, some kind of big jump going on in love where a new long-term relationship partner potential is showing up um, and with the ten of pentacles this usually shows up in such a way where it's a very convenient start on a long-term path um, a lot of other ducks are already in a row so that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.